Right ladies and gents, welcome to Tuesday the 17th of November. Right, back on with the more ploughing today. Um, I've just got the rub what we call the rugby field here to do. Right, so yeah, back in what we call the rugby field, and that pass is <laughs> like a donkey hair uh, like. Yeah, all the horses are back out again into their winter wonderland. So I am um, down there. I'm back down here doing a bit more plowing. So yeah, we'll just uh, get this knocked out while we can. Again, ground conditions are brilliant. It'd be a lot better if there's a bit more grass on this land, but there isn't. It's been gnawed off by the horses. Yeah, that's not a straight line. I'm just trying to make sure that everything's actually set up properly, rather than be straighteners. This is only like two acre paddock, I think, for that. An acre and a half or so. With our summer grazing. So these are some of the real wet fields we have. All right, so we're done. Well, done there enough where I want. Um, I've have stopped near the poplar trees. Come back out a bit. Stop near the poplar trees. Um, there'll be loads of roots under here. And I, I think I am actually catching a few down here, which I'd kind of be surprised at, but big enough to uh, make the tractor rock around a little bit. So yeah, it's not done too bad. I've just run it a little bit shallower down here and it seemed better. That one I seem to catch some big stuff, but this afternoon's job, as you might be able to work out. Know, gonna throw some poo around. So uh, just greased her up. Fairly simple machines, if you've not seen. Uh, big bearing block at the back, big long shaft. Another bearing block. And two more at the front, at the bottom, and PTO shaft. So I just greased it all up. Uh, the grease tends to go hard in them rather than being used or worn out. Uh, making sure there's a bit of grease on the chain. What I do need to do is get some of this off, which is the bale of twine that the girls have left on. So I have tried all sorts of methods, just cutting out with a knife. Depends where it is, to be fair. That stuff will cut out with a knife. I have had a blowtorch in there before to burn those out. Uh, and a mate of mine said that his dad used to actually make a fire inside this and burn it out, the whole thing. Um, as you can probably tell, I've not cleaned her out. I've just let her fill with water. She gets used every six months, so it's not too much of a problem that she sits in water. You can say there's some big chunks out there. It does make a nice tidy job when you start spreading. We've had this now since maybe 10 years we've had this.
Right, so that's uh, Mary's Field done. Two loads of muck out. Uh, yeah, it's spread it quite well actually. Makes a lot of difference when it's wetter stuff rather than dry bedding. It's not a bad pattern over it. Um, some people might wonder why we get them to pick the muck up through the summertime and I just go and spread it anyway in the winter time. Well, there's a couple of reasons. Um, first, this spreads out quite thinly and over a bigger area, whereas when the horse dumps, it generally just kind of <laughs> in a big splodge on the floor, and that's it. Also, the horses, because the horses won't go anywhere near it uh, to eat the grass around it, some horses will actually back into a corner up to a fence and dump next to a fence. So this way basically just gives me a better a better field in the end. Uh, it's more consistent with muck. You'll end up with, I don't know, you might see in some of the other fields. There's some areas that are just really heavy with weeds and with grass. And the grass has kind of gone sour because they've been using it as a toilet. Don't bounce around too much sat there, but you might do. I've got him out the other way around. So yeah, just in a day pack at the moment doing um, a couple of piles of muck, which is quite a big field, I think it's about eight acres. So we've kind of got a ha ha through the middle of it and lumps and bumps. So all the girls do is just basically leave it around the boundary line in some uh, piles for me. So there's not very much here. Um, if there's two trailer falls, I'll be surprised. Last year there were uh, about four or five loads. Uh, not much you can do about it. And the tractor birth are our old one. She's not doing too bad. The cutting edge is different. <laughs> it's weird having a full edge on it again. Uh, but I have managed to pull the steel, steel when I've been welding it. It has bowed it, unfortunately. Uh, I've put too much heat into it. Which is a pain. It's not massive, but there's about 10 mil deflection or something on it. Which isn't great. Right, two minutes, I'll be back. And as the sun goes down, final job for this field. Get a sprayer. So I've got a knapsack on. Just going around. Getting the rag worth.